Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Breath of the Wild performance on CMU 1.11.3 using an i3 8350K clocked at 4.8GHz and using the new dual core recompiler experimental feature. However, I have another video about to release also showing off what performance is like in Breath of the Wild using 1.11.3 and the new triple core recompiler. You may also notice that I have a frame limit of 60 FPS in place in this video. In my triple core recompiler video, I will have no FPS limit in place and you actually will not believe the performance levels that we can achieve. You can actually see that my GPU is almost capping itself out. In this video, I am using the 1440p graphics pack, high resolution shadows, clarity GFX and as usual FPS++ graphics packs. Let's switch over to Kakariko Village and see what performance is like there. As with the previous Hateno test, you can see that our performance is so much better than it was in CMU 1.11.2. What CMU's developers are suggesting to us is if you have a fast i5 or an older i5 or i7, you should use the dual recompiler. However, if you have a more modern CPU like an i7 7700K like I have, or indeed any of the new Ryzen lineup CPUs from AMD, for example a 1600X, 1700X, 1800X, any of these CPUs, then you should potentially try out the triple core recompiler. However, as with any of these new features with new emulators like CMU, we are going to have to wait and see what the best settings are for every specific method of use. For example, when I use GX2 Draw Done in this version of CMU, it actually gives me quite large FPS drops even though in previous versions of CMU it did not do so. This GX2 Draw Done option basically synchronizes CPU and GPU, allowing for correct AI and NPC interactions to take place in the game world. However, since these new dual and triple recompiler modes are highly experimental and are in fact listed as fast but unstable in the actual menus of CMU themselves, we can only wait to see what kind of performance impacts certain settings will have into the future. However, if the performance that we can see on screen right now with this amount of enemy NPCs, AI interactions and physics effects taking place, the future of CMU emulator is very, very bright indeed. Let me know down in the comments what your performance is like on this new version of CMU Emulator. I am genuinely interested to see what performance levels are like across the board and on different CPUs in different systems. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.